Hello and welcome to this tutorial video for Geist Computer Music Edition. F Expansion and Computer Music Magazine have got together to bring you a very special version of our sampling, slicing and sequencing drum machine, Geist. In this video we'll be introducing you to the major functions and features of Geist CM. We won't go through specifics on every feature, but hopefully we can get you up and running. For more detailed information you can launch the Geist manual by going to the Geist menu and selecting Help and Show Manual. This document is for the full version of Geist, which has additional features to Geist CM, but the principles are the same. So let's get started by looking at Geist's browser pane. Under the Content tab, you'll see the Geist CM factory content. Let's load a preset by going to the Presets and Engines folders and clicking on any preset. The browser gives you access to all the files and samples on your hard drive. There are many features to speed up the laborious process of finding the right files. You can favourite certain folders by right clicking when inside them and selecting Add Current Folder to Favourites. There is also a very powerful search engine. Search results can be saved for later. And then there are shortlists, which are similar to music playlists. Any audio file, regardless of its location, can be added to a shortlist, and shortlists can be saved for future use. All shortlists will then be displayed under the Shortlists tab. If you're not using the Shortlists pane, you can drag the bar down to allow more room for browsing. The centre divider is also draggable. Probably the most important buttons in the browser are the Slice and Auto Load buttons. The Slice button enables Geist's Slicer. With this button enabled, any audio file selected in the browser will automatically open in the Slicer. With the Auto Load button enabled, any audio file in the browser will be loaded into the current pad. The current pad, as we can see here, is marked with a yellow border. With both Auto Load and Slice enabled, any audio file selected is loaded into the slicer, automatically assigned to the pads and a pattern will be created to play back the sliced loop. In effect, having these two buttons enabled allows you to slice loops with a single click. Before I demonstrate that, I'll reset Geist, which will return Geist to its default preset. With slice and auto load enabled, I'll click on a WAV file in the browser. So the slicer has opened up and has already made a very good attempt at slicing the loop. If need be, I can audition slices, move them manually, add and delete them, or I can use this sensitivity control here, which adjusts the threshold at which Geist automatically detects transients. Once I'm happy with the slicing, I click the Done button. Had I clicked Cancel in the slicer, Geist would have reverted to the state it was in before the file had been selected in the browser. So let's remix this loop a little. In the top left of the sequencer pane, we have the editing tools. A pen tool, erase tool, select tool and a multi-tool. The multi-tool combines the three other tools so you don't have to keep switching. A single click in the editor will create notes. A right click will delete them. Shift and drag will select notes for deleting, copying or moving. And Alt right click will open the context menu. The pattern editor allows you to do complex automation to a variety of different parameters. You can insert various graph shapes, offset them, compress and expand them, 
and even randomize them. Another way to access the same automation graphs is through the drag edits function. By default, clicking on a note, holding the mouse button and dragging up and down will adjust the velocity and we can see that represented by the shading of the note. But we can select other parameters to be the focus of the drag edits. Here I'm adjusting the panning. The repeat function is fun too, allowing stutter edits. And so on for different parameters. The step length parameter changes the overall playback speed of the pattern. The length parameter changes the overall length of the currently active pattern. Patterns can be up to 1024 steps long. The play modes, restart and gated, change the way the pattern behaves when triggered via incoming MIDI or via the pattern select tools here. Restart will cause the pattern to start from the first step whenever it's triggered and gated means that the pattern will only be active whilst the trigger is actively held down. Remix mode was designed exclusively for remixing sliced loops. Normally in a pattern, it's necessary to trigger multiple pads at once. For example, to trigger a kick drum, snare and hi-hat all on the same step. When dealing with sliced loops, however, it's generally preferable to only trigger one slice per step. Remix mode forces this, so you don't have to spend your time deleting notes as you remix your loop. Other options up here are quantize, duplicate pattern, and nudge. By default, Nudge will rotate the entire pattern, but holding Alt while clicking the Nudge buttons rotates only the currently selected pad, which is highlighted yellow in both the pattern and on the pad itself. Moving on, let's take a look at pad editing. The Pads and Layers page gives us editing options for the currently selected pad. Down the left here, we have nine tabs. The top one gives us options for the whole pad, and the other eight are specific to each of the eight layers that make up that pad. A pad can work in several different modes, velocity split, round robin, and even random playback. Let's load up a preset that demonstrates this. First of all, I'll load a kit preset. Because I've got auto load enabled, the kit has been loaded onto the pads with a single click. It's worth noting that a kit preset does not contain any pattern information. I've still got the pattern here from my old loop. So let's load a pattern bank. A pattern bank is a collection of 12 patterns. Geist CM ships with pattern banks in a variety of different styles. And because our kits all ship with the same basic layout, the patterns will work with any kit. So if I select the hi-hat pad here, we can see that the pad is working in round robin mode. Every trigger from the sequencer causes the next layer to be triggered. Once the last layer is triggered, it loops back round to the first. For each layer, there are a number of parameters you can adjust, as well as the obvious gain and pan, coarse and fine tuning. We have a high quality time stretch and a multi-mode filter. There are also two envelopes, an amp envelope and a freely assignable envelope. Both envelopes are graphically represented over the waveform of the layer's sample. The upper half contains the amplitude envelope, and the bottom half contains the freely assignable envelope. And here, I can assign the destination of the envelope and the amount of modulation. Moving on to the mixers, the pad mixer allows you to mix the 16 pads in one convenient place. You can also apply effects. The grayed out effects slots are only available in the full version of Geist.
The engine mixer is identical to the pad mixer, but works on the entire engine. Geist CM operates with a single engine, whereas the full version of Geist can use up to eight engines simultaneously. Finally for the mixers, there's the global mixer. This will allow you to apply a single insert effect to the master bus. The last page to look at is the sampler. Geist is a sampler that can actually sample. By hitting arm and starting the transport, Geist will begin recording its own output. When the recording is done, I can set in and out markers, preview whilst looping, and then crop when I'm happy. From here, I can export the loop to any number of places, including director pads or to the slicer using the slice button. The sample has to be saved to disk, as up until now it has only existed in RAM. Once saved, the sample is automatically loaded into the slicer. There's lots of fun to be had by remixing loops, sampling, re-slicing and then starting the whole process over again. Geist is a great remix tool. That's it for this tutorial. We hope it's been useful. If you like Geist CM and you are interested in upgrading to the full version of Geist, visit www.fexpansion.com forward slash Geist CM. From all of us here at FXpansion, happy beat making.